on her deathbed his aunt whispered check under the sewing machine finds 13 million dollar treasure Carl Sabatino was by his aunt's deathbed when she died in 2004 and good thing he was because if he weren't he wouldn't have gotten a chance to hear about the secret she'd been keeping for a long time just three days before she passed away Jenny told Carl to look under the sewing machine for a treasure she's been keeping for her but Carl was uncertain if the old woman actually knew what she was saying or was just being delirious even more he wasn't sure what the treasure under the sewing machine his aunt was referring to was he decided to dig around after her death and true to her words he came upon something that could be a treasure in his aunt's Staten Island home just as she'd said it was a truly shocking discovery for him as I moved the sewing machine it came sliding right out into my lap I was stunned he said I found it wrapped in newspaper it turned out that the treasure his old aunt was referring to was a recreation of Pablo Picasso's painting woman with a cape according to Sabatino a New Jersey broadcast executive this recreation was probably done by Picasso decades after he painted the original Sabatino believed his uncle Nicky Verastro most likely bought the painting from a street vendor during a trip to London in 1944 for about 10 to 30 dollars this uncle of his was fighting in World War II at the time and the painting was from a gallery that had either been bombed or looted at the time Sabatino also remembers seeing the piece around the house as a child my brother and I called it the lady with the fuzzy hat he recalls he's convinced that the painting is real as to why Picasso would decide to recreate a painting of the original Sabatino believes he did it to try out a new painting method but one expert at Christie's in New York was quick to dismiss it as a knockoff after a less than thorough check she examined it for about 30 seconds and flipped it back to me and said this is a $10 poster don't waste your time he recalled I said okay but where did it come from in your opinion it's in color although the expert had a point since the paint was an exotic rarity during those times another analyst decided not to write the matter off as an impossibility when Sabatino took the painting to him to verify or refute the initial painting that his aunt's precious painting is a knockoff analyst dr. Kenneth Smith of the Center for art materials analysis in Westmont Illinois decided to extract some of the paint for some tests and also confirmed that indeed the material on the painting was entirely consistent with what was popularly in use in 1930 Europe there was also the right particle thumbprint somewhere on the painting which might help to unlock the truth behind the painting with further analysis if it matches a plaster cast of Picasso's hand if all these tests prove Sabatino's aunt to be right he might well consider himself a millionaire since according to a Florida art appraiser Richard Bo Lai it could be worth around 13 million dollars if found to be genuine he'd have to wait a while to confirm that and if true then Sabatino can thank his aunt and uncle for turning his fortune around <laughs>